What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? How y'all doing today? Mr. Justin is back with brand new Vito, fresh one. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm back. Yeah, man, today I'm about to talk about politics. Who like politics? Yeah, I know all my African people, they love politics. We love politics. African people love politics. The black American, they love entertain. Yeah, in drama and entertain, stuff like that. Well, that's good. I love I love yeah, entertaining too. Um, yeah, we can blend both of them together, you know, make a great show. Yeah, man. Well, before I start the the show, I want for you to subscribe, man. Take your second for you to subscribe. Hit the like button, just subscribe. Pause the video and subscribe. Just hit that subscribe button before I continue the video. All right? Because I'm here to bring the truth, to bring the truth and the flavors, to bring all the flavors. All those things that all the salmon you don't need, bringing it. <laughs> anyway, today I want to talk about politics, man. And y'all should please keep subscribing, man. Subscribing, don't just don't watch the video and just just watch and do not say anything. Even though, like I said, if you don't, if you know, if you don't like me, just subscribe. It doesn't, it won't hurt. <laughs> it won't hurt, man. It won't hurt. Just subscribe. Just subscribe to Mr. Justin's channel. You know, Mr. Justin, he always telling the truth. And the truth is that there's a two side. There's a two kind of people in this world. There's a one group of people want to hear the truth, and the other group of people don't want to hear the truth. Yeah. So the other one do the one don't want to hear the truth. That's the one I get angry. And come on your comment section and start making all kind of leaving all kind. And the one who want to hear the truth, they appreciate it. They say, oh, thank you so much for giving me advice. Thank you so much for telling the truth and stuff. They appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? And also, they are, we got also people, we are human beings. We also, we are sensitive. We are so sensitive. We are so emotional. But we, are, we all be in denial. A lot of us, some of us be in denial. Say, oh, I'm not sensitive. I'm not emotional. Yeah, after I talk a lot of few things about you, then you say, oh, this guy talking to stuff about me. He tell you the truth about me. I don't want to hear that. And then you say, oh, man, don't talk about me, you know. Anyway, I want to talk about politics. I want to talk about uh, our leader, the African leader. The African leader, I want to ask, I want to ask a question. Who, who believe the African leader are weak? Put your hands up. I'll give you a second. Who believe African weak leader are weak? Well, I do. <laughs> I do. I know most of you are, are maybe probably 99 percent things that believe that African leaders are weak. Yes, they are weak. The reason why they are weak because they are all puppet. That's what makes them to be weak. They are weak because they are puppet. If they wasn't a puppet, they won't be weak. But because they are puppet, so that's what makes them to be weak. Weak, 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 weak. You know. They don't want for the, the country to go forward. They don't want to release themselves from this puppet thing. They want to hold on to power until whatever, whatever time. Especially most of the, the, the dictator. The puppet dictator that whatever who been in power for a long time won't give up power. Don't want for the country to go forward. Because a puppet master, you know, support him to continue running the country. And holding people back, you know, don't want to give up power. You've been in the country, you know what I mean? You've been holding power for 30 something years, 40 something years, <laughs> with your own idea, one man idea. If you let it go, all the people can come and replace you and bring their idea to so whatever the country can go forward. But you chose for your one idea to, one person idea to keep going. It does not work that way. Take example like a plane. When plane was built, whatever, they build a plane. The airplane. It was different, different, different idea. That's what made the plane to be so amazing. Isn't that amazing for plane to be flying that big jumbo uh, Airbus 380, 360? Because of different, different ideas. People come with different, different ideas. That's why computer were made, all those machine things were made. You know, just one person, 
But sometimes people will like to take credit and say, oh, I'm, I'm the one, it was my idea. Yeah, it was the idea, but other people put their input to make that thing to be great, to develop that Sony. But if you don't come in with other people's ideas, it won't work. You, you just talk in powers, it won't want to let it go. It's just your opinion, just your opinion, nobody's opinion. The country will never go far. The country will never go far. Africa will never go far. You know what I'm saying? So to all the dictator that in Africa, you gotta let it go. You gotta, you know, you gotta let you know let it go. You are old. Bunch of them, they are old folks. Their brain is backward. They think they think in 1960. While in 19, we are we are in 2020. Most of the African leader, their brain is so backward. So backward. You know? It's so backward. The you need to replace those old people. Those old folks, it's just like it. They have to let go. They're tired, man. They don't know what's going on. We are in 2020. They don't know what's going on. They, they stay thinking in 1960. They stay thinking 1960. We are in 2020 and they stay thinking 1960. <laughs> so that's what the country is not going for. They got this old mentality shit. You know what I'm saying? The country, Africa will never go forward with this kind, of, this kind of mentality. You don't want to replace, you don't want for people to replace you. You don't want to leave power. You want to hold on to it until whatever you die. You know? That's that's embarrassing, man. That's shame, man. You know, one of the things also, whatever I be in, and they they be doing is also like they say democracy in Africa. There is no democracy in Africa. Africa don't got no dem democracy in Africa. There is no democracy in Africa. There is no democracy in Africa. Africa. The one who so called the democracy in Africa, guess what they do? After they take power, they say, oh, okay, they win the office, the election, and stuff like that. They hold on to power. They, I mean, they're in power now. They will say, oh, man, you know what? Um, I'm not going to run for the second, I'm not going to run for the third time. They want, you know, they usually say it that early. <laughs> they always say early, say like, very early, say, like, uh, you know, if you're like a, like, let us say, if they just taking the office for like, you know, for the second term, they'll say, I'm not going to run. I'm not going to run for the second term. But then by the time they wake up, oh, man, your time is up. Then they say, oh, shit, I got to run for the third time again. Shit, this shit flies so fast. <laughs> they say, oh, shit, this shit flies so fast. Like a country, like example, let us go to a country. There's a lot of country in Africa. Who the so-called the country have democracy, but if we refusing to let it go, they refusing to 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 let it go. They don't want to stop on the second term. They want to continue on the third term. Some some of you want to go on the, on the fourth term. Let me take example. This this president, Cote d'Ivoire president, La Cote d'Ivoire, Africans. He said that he don't want to run for president for the third for the for the third time. They almost set their bone. He running for he running a campaign. He you know he trying to run for president. In Africa, um, the African leader in uh, the, the French speaking country, they are, uh, one term is a five year. The French French speaking country is, is a five is a five year in office, and then meanwhile, most of the English country is you all know is four uh, four year. This man already make. I think so four and uh, eleven years already in office. Almost eleven or ten years already. Eleven, I think so eleven to twelve years. And now he wanna run for a president again. He already did. Because the French leader, no French people tell you say he should be whatever uh he should be continue being a puppet. You see the Ivarian, the Ivarian Ivarians, the Cote d'Ivoire, those people are very strong people, They're very smart, strong. They are, they are the opposite of the Nigerian people. They are the English speaking, I mean, they are the, the French speaking, French speaking uh, country, the opposite of Nigeria. Nigeria is the English version 
and the the, the Ivorian, the Africans, is the the English, the the French version, which is the, the opposite of Nigeria. Those people, these people are very smart, intelligent. They're very wise. They they're very strong, intelligent, clever people. Strong people, but their leader is weak. So if their leader is weak, that's what makes the king go fall. You know. That's crazy, man. So, to so all of you that in Africa, you gotta come. We, if the election is coming, we gotta try to involve ourselves in politics, trying to run for president. Anytime election is coming, we involve ourselves. We support our you to run for president, so we can replace those old folks because they don't know what they're doing. Honestly, they don't know what they had to do. They don't know what they had to do. They keep selling the country, they keep giving all the wealth, giving everything away to the Mozungu, to all the people, sign all kind of crazy deal behind closed door. Keep giving all that wealth to the Mozungu. So yes, they need to be replaced. <laughs> I know they don't like this. They need to be replaced by the young people. Young people are brilliant. They got a fresh mind. They, 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 they think in 19, they think in 2020. They don't think in 1960. They what, they, they, the young, the youth are focused. They think in present day. They don't think in all the way, all the way back in the 60s. You know, most of the African president, if they become president, they want, in the moment they become president, they take office, they will start talking about how He's trying to talk about, talk about their certificate, their credential. Oh, I went to school to UK. I went to school to France, Germany, Harvard University, and Oscar University. They, they, they will give you like a, they will present you like a 26 and certificate to you. But all that certificate ain't mean shit. Ain't mean nothing. It's what you do with a certificate. All that credential you have, you say you, you show you, you show you obviously you went to school in, in Germany, you went to school in America, you went to school in place, these places. It means nothing. You, you got all that certificate, but you, you know, you got the white man still controlling you, and the, you know, the puppet still controlling you. You still got the puppet master. So don't, they, they shouldn't be talking about the I got this certificate, the old certificate, the guy, I got 26 certificate. This one say, I got, oh, I got 17 certificate. I went to so many different schools. But your country is backward. The Trump country, your country ain't going nowhere. You talk about, you want to talk about certificate. <laughs> you want to talk about certificate. How much certificate you got? You believe that shit? <laughs> wow. Africa need to go forward. Need to go forward. You know, Africa need to go forward. We need to build Africa infrastructure, water, electricity. We need those things. And most of the African leaders, they have no idea. They have no idea what they're doing as a, being president. They don't know how to run the country with all that certificate it's claims that they have. They don't know how to run the country. They just there. They don't care about their own people. They don't care. All they care about their family. And the people, whatever, in the place, whatever, their, their village, in their county, whatever, their, their province, where they come from, those are the people they care about. And they put those people, anytime they take office, They'll put those uh, people from their from their village or from their county or whatever their, their province and put them in the administration so they can pro, you know protect themselves you know to be around there and put them put them in a high office. That's how the white teach them say that's how you you know you don't need to bring different different people from the country and you know and put them in your administration. You gotta take the people from your village and put all of them in your administration. So you can you know so you can hold on to power. <laughs> yeah, that's what they've been doing. Most African presidents, that's what it does. That's what they do, man. They hold you back. Then the other people say, what about us? The other country, all the other people, the other people say, no, what about the people that you, you represent? Let us say if you represent Ghana. There's the, all the Ghanaians, all the Nigerian people say, what about us? You you take your tribe people or your village people and put the, all of them in the cabinet. What about the, all the rest of the people that you represent? Aren't you supposed to be representing one country? Aren't you supposed to be representing everybody? So why are you taking whatever? The people from your village and putting it in your administration. You know? Anyway. I got a lot of stuff to talk about, man. 
about the African leader, the Awe. They talk about um, the AU, the African Union, AU, they say that it's, it's not weak. AU is weak. If the African U, uh, leader is weak, that means it's equal to AU going to be have to be weak. The African Union is supposed to be weak. The African Union is weak. Because who made the, the, the African Union? Of course, the African leader. They're the one who make the, the, the African Union. So African Union are weak. I remember uh, the, uh, the lady was saying that 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 uh, Arikana from Zimbabwe was saying that oh the African Union is not weak yeah it is weak with all that puppet it make the union to be weak if the leader is weak that means the union gonna be weak she say oh the union is not weak it is weak so if don't weak so why you whatever listen we are in 2020 the African leaders gotta know that we are in 2020 social media all over the place we are in 2020 we not we not in you know, like uh, 1960 no more. We are in 2020. These white people can't do anything to you no more. They can't do anything to you guys. We are in 2020. Social media, everything. Everybody video. Every country around the world, around the world, their videos up there, right on YouTube. You Google that show, you go on YouTube right now. Every day, every hour, YouTube, whatever, uploading, uploading video. 10,000, 10,000 to 100,000 video a day. I mean, I mean, an hour. It's like almost 1 million, like almost like almost close to 1 million video being loaded, uploading in, in YouTube. Every single day. 10,000 to 100,000, 10,000 to 100 video is being uploaded in the, on the YouTube. So everybody, every country around the world, secret, everything is right on our YouTube. If you search for it, all you got to search for the red thing and you're going to see everything up there. There is nothing to hide no more. There's no secret. All the secrets right out there on our YouTube. That's why some of the places, some of the countries, they're trying to prevent the YouTube channel. They don't want for, you know, some country they're trying to prevent this, especially when the election comes, they're trying to turn it, you know, the, 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 the YouTube channel up, the, the social media, they turn it off. You know, it's up there, man. It's everybody's secrets out there. Everybody's secrets out there, right on that YouTube channel, on that Google, and everything is up there. There's nothing to hide. Everything is in the light now. Everything is in the light. There's nothing to hide. So I don't know why is the whatever African leader is still trying to be a goddamn puppet. Why are you trying to be a puppet? Say, oh, you know, puppet. Why are you trying to hold on to power? Be a respectful man. Let it go. You can make your two trams step down. Let other person to come and make the country go forward. But no, they don't want to do it. They want to hold on to it, hold on to it, hold on to it. You know? <laughs> wow, it's a shame, man. To be honest with you, Africa will never, ever go forward. With this all the puppet leader, Africa will never go forward. We got Ghana president, Nana Akonfo. This man is very good with beautiful speech. I remember when he first took office, he was talking about, um, he come up with a beautiful speech, the beautiful famous speech. And everybody was going crazy. Said, oh man, Africa found, just found a new leader. End of the day, this man will go and become a puppet. After he make that beautiful speech, he become a puppet <laughs> behind closed door. Then they, 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 you know the Mozungo invite you over, and they will tell you, "Oh, come over," and then you go and sign uh, some kind of deal, a crazy deal. He's a puppet. Now, not come for he's a puppet. He's just a puppet. Look what happened. Coronavirus. How many corona, coronavirus? I don't say I don't think so. Coronavirus in Africa. When coronavirus came, look what happened. They told them they gave them a little bit of money. They gave all the African people a little bit of money, telling them to shut their country down. Boom! They shut it down. They shut that shit down. You don't got no coronavirus in your goddamn country. You shut this shit down. You think that whatever if that coronavirus will start from whatever from from Africa, just like a, a Ebola. 
if we will stop Africa, all the people dying, like, oh, it came from the, the coronavirus or the COVID-19 came from Africa. Do you think that whatever the white people will, you know, and the West will sh shut their, their border down and, sh you know, shut the country down, shut the entire world down? They never want to do that. What they're going to do is they're going to shut their border down to Africa. They're going to make sure that Africa does not, Africa people does not come in the country. Every country, all the whole country now, America, the, the whole, the West, the Chinese, they will shut their border down to Africa country. Make sure no African people enter their country. So you let them die with the coronavirus. But now, they gave them a little bit of money ago. They go and shut their guy, their country down. Did you know, um, they, according to the World Bank the UN, they say Africans going to be in debt by next year. You see, their economy was doing great last year, 2019. It was doing good. It was going forward. The white people tricked them to shut their country down. Now their, their economy is going to collapse next year. They shouldn't shut it down. They should have kept that shit just like a keep, keep that on your just like a Tanzania, I think so there were a few countries in Africa that, that, that didn't shut their, their, their border down. Shut their country down. Tanzania, I gave them. Yes. There's a second wave is coming, which is whatever in the West right now. They, they already, Germany and UK, UK and other places, France, they already shut some of the half their country down. And they're going, I think so they're going to tell Africa to shut it down too. Do not do it, Africa. There's no coronavirus. I said there's no coronavirus in Africa. Do not shut your country down. Your economy is going to collapse. If you shut it down for the second time, it's going to collapse. Do not shut it down. Maybe you can close the, you can probably close the border, but do not shut the country. Let everything function normal in the country. Do not shut that country down for the second time. If you shut it down, it will collapse. Your economy will collapse. You know it will take you a long, long time for you to recover again. So do not shut that country down. Do not shut Africa down. You know, do not shut it down. So many puppets, man. How Africa gonna go for, man? So, yeah, man, this is your boss, Mr. Justice. I got a lot of videos to, to, to upload. Watch out for the part two and, and subscribe to this channel, Mr. Justice. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't just keep watching, just subscribe, man. I got a few things to talk about. But before I leave, election, election is coming in Ghana, December, next, next month. Do not vote for Nana Akonfo. We know he's a, he's a puppet. Lest Muhammad, whatever, Muhammad, let him he, let he come back. Don't vote for him. I know the Ghanaians going to be right upset with him when he had this shit. <laughs> yeah, he's a puppet, you know. Nana Akonfo is a puppet. He make a beautiful speech, then the next day, the next minute, he, 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 he turned he turn into puppet. 